Hey, I'm Katrina Tulloch. And I'm Matt Adams of Syracuse.com. And today we're talking about the Shamrock Shake, which has truly become a St. Patrick's Day tradition just as much as green beer. That's right. So Katrina and I are going to drop some Shamrock Shake knowledge on you so you can wow your friends and family. That's right. So let's start at the very beginning. It was 1970 and McDonald's had just made history by launching the Shamrock Shake in the windy city of Chicago. Right. Now, we know the Shamrock Shake is having a sort of minty flavor, but it wasn't always that. That way. The original shamrock shakes were flavored with vanilla ice cream, lemon and lime sherbet, and vanilla syrup. Sounds kind of gross, right? Well, luckily it didn't stay that way. In 1973, the lemon and lime sherbet were removed abruptly, and it was just left with a plain vanilla milkshake with some green food coloring. But luckily, in 1983, some genius thought, let's add mint, and it's been that way ever since. Now, another item worth mentioning is that McDonald's created a character named Uncle O'Grimacy to market the shamrock shakes. And according to McDonald's lore, his sole job was to deliver shamrock shakes. But by that point, the shamrock shake had already become a cultural phenomenon. Like People were making this at home with a few extra ingredients like Bailey's Irish cream. And if you want to talk about calories, a small shamrock shake has about 500 calories. And get this, a large shamrock shake has close to 800 with about 20 five grams. Yes, grams of fat. I am simultaneously disgusted and amazed. Me too. It's pretty amazing to think that since they launched in 1970, over 60 million have been sold nationwide. You could fill a lake with that many shamrock shakes. And what a delicious lake that would be. I would swim in that lake. I would drink that lake dry. <laughs> well, we hope you've enjoyed our shamrock shake video. We hope you've learned something. I'm Katrina Tulloch. And I am Matt Adams from Syracuse.com. Cheers.